Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. FS Realistic has just released their Pro version 2 of the application. This has implemented many new and welcome additions, and I think one of the biggest improvement would be the camera motion. Well, slap a VR headset on, and now that motion may make you want to... And for that reason, I want to go over all of the motion settings that I use for FS Realistic to prevent that from happening. Coming up in today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started in today's episode, if you have not heard about the FS Realistic application, I will go ahead and post a link down below in the description. I highly recommend to check that out. If the video helps you out today, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. So let's get right into the FS Realistic application and go over some of the changes that I have made when I'm flying in VR. Before I go through these changes, I'm going to explain first why I believe the VR, the camera movements are way too extensive. Now, I think the reason for that is if you take your VR headset off, you can see all of the other picture that is around you that you don't actually see when you put your headset on. So that would be like sitting really, really close to a TV screen where you can't see the outer edges. And what that's going to do is if there is any motion within the picture, it's just going to exacerbate that a lot. So what I have found is by going in here and changing some of these settings makes the camera motion a little more realistic in VR mode. So now that I've explained that, let's go through the FS Realistic application and go through some of the changes here. Now, one of the things with this, when you do change into different planes, you are going to have to set this up for each plane that you hop into. But once you know the settings that you have to change, it gets pretty easy. For all of the settings that we're going to be changing here, we're going to put the movement anywhere between 10 and 15 percent with all of these different settings. I found that that seems to work the best. So now that you know that, let's go through these and set these up. So G-forces, we're gonna set this down to around 13. The next one that I'm gonna change here would be the over G. We're also gonna take this movement and turn this down anywhere between 10 and 15. The over speed, we're gonna take that and turn this down between 10 and 13. Oh, you know what? The other one that really gets me is the breathing. So in VR, it really is too much movement when we're breathing. So I'm going to turn that one down as well. The other ones that I want to adjust would be the front touchdown and the touchdown main. And the reason for that is I found that when I make a hard touchdown, it looks like my head is almost going to hit the ceiling of the aircraft or go through it. So I think that's just a little bit unrealistic. So I'm going to turn this one down as well, and we're going to set that down to 15. The rear touchdown, I'm not going to take that as much, so we're going to leave that down to around 27. If you feel that after you make a hard landing that the camera movement is just a little bit too abrupt, then you can take this movement down to between that 10 and 15 as well. The last and final option that I want to tune here would be the turbulence option and we're gonna take this one down between 10 and 15. So once you have those set up now, the only thing you need to do is just minimize this and enjoy all the new camera settings. But keep in mind that when you change your aircraft, you are gonna to have to make these changes to each profile. All right, that's it for today. If you have any comments, please leave those down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. To all my flight server friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.